My name is Emily. I was adopted into a Christian home from South Korea when I was five months old. I was born with schizencephaly, which is a type of cerebral palsy. I have two older brothers and an older sister who is also adopted from Korea. When I was 13, a girl made fun of my speaking. After that, I didn't talk to anyone except my family for five years. I lost all my confidence. I realized that I wasn't the same as other kids and I became depressed. A couple of years later, one of my best friends died unexpectedly. And that same year, my other best friends moved away. I became more depressed than ever. My parents wanted to cheer me up, so they planned a trip to California. I had wanted to go to a live taping of a TV show, but it got canceled. I tweeted that I was disappointed. And to my surprise, the producer and writer of the show replied. He invited me to visit the set. And there he encouraged me to write stories. I posted some of my stories on social media. Soon I had a lot of followers and people told me that I was a good writer. My sister was my biggest fan. Then last year, I had some health problems and my sister moved out abruptly. I felt devastated and abandoned. My sister was my world and now she wouldn't even talk to me. I thought I had no one. I attempted suicide. But God was always there looking out for me. He told me to keep fighting. He gave me a puppy who never leaves my side. I think he created her just for me. He gave me Christian friends that pointed me back to God. And I started to go to Red Rocks Young Adults. The more I went, the more I liked it, and the more friends I made. But all of my friends were serving God through mission trips or internships or something, I felt so alone, like there wasn't anything I could do to serve God and others. After all, I couldn't walk or talk or use my hands much. I decided to write a blog telling my story to encourage others. I didn't know what I was doing, but I gave it up to God to do it His way. I learned to be still and listen to His voice. I felt like God was telling me to attend the Red Conference at Red Rocks Church. I am so thankful for that experience. I heard just what I needed to hear. I met great people and I gained confidence and boldness. I experienced a joy that I had never felt before. God filled me with His Holy Spirit. I still have to fight every day to keep that joy. The enemy is always trying to steal it from me. But I am confident that God is working everything for his will in my life. Don't let the enemy tell you that you don't have anything to offer. Think about what God has given you and embrace that. My mom always says that if I can serve God and choose joy, anyone can.